Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos, and today these are my top five tips for the Google Chrome web browser. So let's move on. Tip number one, opening multiple pages on startup. So if you're a heavy Firefox user uh, with the add-on Tab Mix Plus, you may miss the feature of opening multiple web pages or opening the web pages that you had currently open when you close the browser. So first off, open up the little wrench icon here, and the settings icon, and then go into options. Click the basics tab, and under here you can set multiple options here, reopen the pages that were last open, so this is the one that you may be used to, that this will save all the information that was open, uh, you know, multiple tabs, etc. And when you close it, it'll reopen them all. Uh, so if you have multiple tabs and you don't want them, you know, you don't want them to get lost, then you can have that. Or if you want a clean slate, you can use open the home page, or if you want a list of websites that you'd normally visit, like Facebook, news.com news.com and uh, Twitter all that stuff you can set a list right here and add them manually tip number two pinning tabs now if you're gonna be browsing the web and you know let's like, say you're going to a site like Twitter or Facebook or anything like that then you may be browsing some, you know, you're at work and then you start browsing some other sites, but you know you're gonna want to keep on referring back to Twitter you maybe maybe something like ESPN anything like that and you don't really want that tab to get in your way and you don't want it to get accidentally closed. You can right click it and click pin tab and this will make it into a little favicon tab and you can drag it around. It can be exited uh, and it just shrinks down and it sits there and you can you know keep on browsing and you can always refer back to it. Really great for stuff like news feeds and stuff like that. So you can check that out and you can of course right click it and unpin the tab and exit it if needed. Tip number three. Let's say you want to make a fav icon bookmark bar. So in the bookmarks bar, if you see these little fav icons here, a lot of people are wondering how can you get them to be little uh, icons instead of without the text and all that. And then it's actually really, really simple. So let's say I go to a website like uh, dig.com and I'll wait for it to load here. It's going to load and it's going to have uh, exit last pass here. You're going to have this little star icon here to bookmark the page. So I can click this. And it's going to give me options here. I'm going to want to save it to the bookmarks bar. And as you can see here, some people get this usually with all that text, and you really don't want that. Some people just want the icon, because obviously the icon, usually the fav icon, usually allows you to know which website you're going to. So if you just highlight the whole name right here and hit back and hit done, all that text disappears, and you can actually just use the fav icon and drag it wherever you want. And then anytime you need to click it, you just click the icon, and it loads it like that. All right, so that's tip number three. Tip number four, autofill. If you're in Chrome, a big uh, useful feature, I should say, is autofill. If you go to personal stuff under the options menu that we were in earlier, go to autofill, you can enable autofill forms with a single click. Now, this is really uh, cool for stuff like credit cards and addresses. If you, you can add an address here. So, for example, I can say Adrian Kogiran, and I can type the company name. I'll just make up some stuff here digital dojos and then you know I can actually put my address here and some other stuff the city town all of that that way next time you're in uh, what do you call it a uh, form that wants you and you can save you obviously I mean, you can even do it to credit cards now uh, again you may want to be a little bit you know more secure with this because you, you don't want somebody could stumbling upon your browser and you know checking that out or you know seeing the credit card number there so um once you next time you're into like a sign up form or anything like that, let's say you want to sign up to dig or anything like that, uh, all you would have to do is uh, you just have to manually you won't have to manually type in all of that stuff at all. You can just uh, choose to add it via autofill, which um, I'm gonna go ahead and say join dig real quick, and I'll say or actually I'm gonna need something that needs an address, so or maybe let's see if this works. Join dig and. You, I guess you just, yeah, you'd have to, yeah, that doesn't work. So you'd have to go to a site that requires your address and stuff like that. And instead of manually typing your uh, info in, you would just have, it would be a single click type thing where you click on the web form and it should allow you to autofill all your information in that stored that you give it, obviously. And you can have multiple addresses so you can pick between each one and stuff like that. All right, so that's tip number four. All right, and last but not least, my last tip. If you have a Google account, so if you have a Gmail account, 
uh, and you use Chrome across multiple browsers, a great tip is to sync your Chrome across multiple computers. What this allows you to do, this allows you to uh, save the website, save your passwords, save your histories and stuff like that across multiple browsers so that when you add a bookmark to one browser on say your Windows computer, your Mac will be updated with the same bookmarks as well and all of that and the same passwords. So if you click the little wrench icon again, go into options and you're going to want to go to personal stuff again. This sync option, just click sync and you can set up an account with whatever your email is or your Gmail. And then you're going to want to go into the other computers and as well and set up those and then uh, you know obviously anytime you you can customize it here and say you know what you want to be actually synced so you can say choose what I want to be synced or keep everything synced for example you can do the apps the autofill um, the bookmarks the extensions the preferences so your settings with inside all those, these options right here so if you want you know certain web pages to start up when you open up the browser which I covered earlier then you can keep the preferences tab checked theme so if you like the theme you have on one browser you can sync it across multiple browsers so that all your computers using Chrome uh, synced up to that one account uh, and you can see here it'll be your data is now synchronized so anytime you go into a computer um, that doesn't it's not synced so let's say you just installed Chrome you'd go into that same menu go here and then enter in your email and then it would sync with all that data and you should get all your stuff that you have on this browser on other browsers really really cool way to stay in sync Anyways, guys, this is my top five tips for Google Chrome. Hope you guys enjoyed. More information will be in the description below. For more tips and tricks and news, head over to digitaldojos.com. Any feedback, send it over to digitaldojos at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.